Hi guys, I'm EVM. Welcome back and welcome to a sad video because this is probably the last video I will ever film in this car. It is going, it is getting sold uh, and I thought, well, I've got these subscribers, I've got you know lots of followers basically, why don't I see if at least one of them wants to buy a Nissan Leaf because then I have to, or rather I don't have the rigmarole of sticking it on Auto Trader messing around with all the marketing calls that you get, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I thought, yeah, why not try and sell my Nissan Leaf, which is going, <laughs> very sadly. Why not try and sell it on here and see if some lucky person wants to buy this very famous Leaf that's never been slept in. Now I was planning on doing this outside the car, doing like a walk around, almost like a, a sale video as it were, but uh, yet another storm is on its way and uh, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's, uh, well, I'm getting sick of this now, it's just torrential rain and 80 mile an hour gusts, things like that, uh, and it looks like it's going to be like that for the next few days. So I thought, well, I'll do it inside, uh, just so at least some of the leaf is on camera for, for probably the last time. I have to say though, this is the car that I've now owned the longest out of every car I've ever owned. Uh, it's, I think it was registered at the beginning of August 2016. So it's what, three and a half-ish years old now. It's done nearly 54,000 miles, full 12 bars on the, uh, uh, the, the battery readout. Uh, the actual state of health, uh, I think is at 89%. It does go up and down when you check on Leaf Spy. I, I could do a rapid charge or two and then fully charge it at home and it'll be at 90% again. Uh, so it goes up and down does least by, but I've just checked it 89%, uh, which I think for a car of this age and mileage is about right, certainly by looking on Auto Trader anyway. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's been near faultless. Uh, two things have gone wrong in its entire uh, you know life up to now. Fixed under warranty, of course, the speaker in this door and uh, just a sensor over there. Um, so, um, yeah, I have to say it's probably been the most reliable car. In fact, not it has been the most reliable car I have ever owned. Uh, obviously, the fact it's an EV means there's very little to go wrong with them, and that's one of the benefits. A quick overview, it's a 30 kilowatt hour centre. It's in, I think, magnetic red? The, the, the metallic red, anyway. Uh, yes, I, I really researched this video. <laughs> so, uh, in terms of optional extras, it's got the paint and something which does command a bit of a premium on Auto Trader, uh, the 6.6 .6 charging option, which is something I couldn't live without. Uh, sometimes my wife gets home at 2, 3 in the morning and I leave at 7, so I've only got that small window to, to, to give the car a charge. Um, so, I, that for me is a must. Uh, I think 3.3 .3 is is too slow. Uh, other than that, it's a it's a normal centre. Uh, it's got a few little stone chips as you'd expect. Uh, there's a mark on one of the alloy wheels. Completely cosmetic. I'm going to try and be completely as honest as possible. Uh, the, the the interior is pretty much unmarked. There's a you know, there's a few marks around here and there. I can't really see any right now if I'm honest. Um, but uh, but you know it's a car that's done 50 odd thousand miles. Uh, so it's exactly as I would expect it to be, and it's in very good condition. I've just given it a bloody good detail. Uh, well, last week actually, because obviously this hasn't helped. Um, so it's had a good wash, wax, cleared a lot. I haven't machine polished it, so it wouldn't make a difference to the price. But yes, uh, it's as good as it's going to look. I will probably put this on Auto Trader and the usual suspects uh, two, three days after this video goes up, because obviously i have to sell this for a reason i'm selling it because i am getting a new electric vehicle a new one is on the way a new evm mobile uh, and the replacement for the leaf is not going to be revealed in this video are you stupid of course i'm going to string this out get as many views as possible obviously look out for that video in the next i don't know probably two or three weeks whenever i can get it up showing you what the new evm mobile will be um no clues although i have to say i have dropped the odd easter egg over the last several months or more on my twitter account which is at ev man uk so uh, by all means follow me on that you never know you might figure it out so yeah back to the car um 
obviously I'd, lo I'd love to video around it and show you everything but in this weather it's, it's just not possible certainly on the outside of the car if i started filming anything out there it'd be just really noisy for the microphone and i'd just get blown off i'm going to rephrase that uh, i'll just get blown around <laughs> so what i'm going to do is put loads of pictures up at the end of this video uh, almost like a slideshow as it were uh, of the of, of the car you know all various angles the inside the outside uh, probably the same pictures I'm going to use if I end up putting on Art Trader. Now the price, this is obviously something which is, is very difficult at the moment because there's some Nissan Leafs at this price, which is you know similar to my car, and then there's some at this end. There seems to be a, a really wild fluctuation. And uh, so what I've done, I've had a look on Art Trader, see what others similar to this are going for. So the price is based on uh, again what is around at the time, uh, and I've averaged that out. Uh, you can ask me any questions, I'll be immensely honest. I mean, you're not going to get a car that's got a, a detailed as history as mine because it's effectively been on my entire channel uh, for the past three and a half years. And I've done a video every 10,000 miles. Again, it's all in my channel. 10,000 10, mile update, 20, 30, 40. And uh, recently, just before, I think it was just before Christmas, November-ish, uh, the 50,000 mile update. So um, you're not going to get as well a documented car as this. It has at present, I think just over about six months of MOT left on it. If necessary, I will put that to 12 months, but I don't know. It seems a bit long to, to do it now. Um, Nissan can't do another MOT for at least a week anyway. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things, obviously, if someone really does want to buy it, then, uh, then we can discuss that. What more can I say? It's full service history. Its service will be due in, I believe, August. So I'm um, not, not sure what more to say, really, uh, other than it's a Nissan Leaf 30 kilowatt hour a centre. 2016, um, and everything works completely. So yeah, the price. I'm not going to tell you the price in the video, because then if I want to change my the, the, the price, I'd have to take the video down, refilm it, and upload it again. So I'll put the price in the description below, and then I can easily change that at any time without having to change the video itself. If somebody does want to... Uh, genuinely now come and look at this and you know interested in buying it then uh, my email address will also be in the description in theory everything you need will be in the description uh, ask me questions by all means in the comments uh, try and guess what's going to to replace it in the comments uh, obviously there's not a mass uh, of, of evs to choose from uh, things have changed a little bit so uh, so yeah, see if you can guess that. But this video, for me anyway, is, is about trying to trying to get rid of it, unfortunately. It's a sad day, but uh, yep, it's got to go, I'm afraid. Okay, well, uh, that's pretty much it, really. It's a very briefly filmed video uh, done for a specific purpose. That's why I've put it up on uh, on, on whatever day I put it up. It's, it's, it's an extra video. It's not one of the, the usual Friday uploads. So, um, uh, yeah. Here are the pictures, and if you are interested, then contact me. If not, I'll uh, see you soon, I guess.